So I think for sure for motorsport today he proves that uh, an electric car, a fast electric car, can win a race with high level. And I think you know everybody on a weekend enjoy a lot looking Pikes Peak. I saw some tweets that uh, people saying it's more fun to look Pikes Peak than looking Formula One in Le Castellet. So I don't know if it's true, but uh, <laughs> but for sure it's I think for Volkswagen to prove the, that this car can beat everything here. It's a big step after for the road. It's another story. I enjoy the car a lot. It was even if it's on hill climb, was one of the best cars I ever drove. On the top three for sure. Uh, so fast on fast corners, so much grip, and uh, yeah. So I was very happy for them, for myself. My only target was to win the race, you know, and to for sure to try to break this record. When he explained me after the concept in in eight months, uh, they made just a, a a rocket car, you know, and it's easy to see how the car is starting, you know, and the car is cornering. It's uh, very impressive. So now I'm, I would like to try this car on a racetrack to see exactly which, uh, <laughs> what can be the difference with the car I was used to, yes. My plan was to start very fast on a, on a <clears throat> first sector, clear, and to, to try already to, to get a lot of time compared to Sebastian record, because I knew it was a good sector for us in terms of downforce. And uh, yeah, I was convinced, but I didn't want to do any mistake. I knew it was a lot of people following here, <laughs> but more in Volksburg. <laughs> and I was very scared that we can do, you know, in Pikes Peak, a small mistake. So when I saw the, yeah, the last grip in the Sector 2, suddenly I said, OK, don't take any risk. It will be enough to win. It will be possible enough for the record, but don't do any mistake for sure. Because I didn't want, you know, to, to do something that it was not possible to repair. So. Uh, yeah, but at the end, in my head, it was clear. Yesterday evening, I spoke with my friend, Brice, and I said, tomorrow we have to go below eight. That was my own target, to go below eight. But now I hope we can go possible a little bit quicker next time. So yeah, it was very difficult, uh, very difficult morning for sure, for everybody. Uh, first of all, I came uh, too early because I was scared to be late. And uh, we wait, you know, it's not the first time for me here. You know, I know how it's complicated this time. But suddenly when we saw the weather, I, I saw on the face of FX and then that the weather was not great. <laughs> so I was just st staying in the car and uh, yeah, say anyway, we have to do our job now. And uh, it was yeah, a very long time to wait. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, that's racing. What, what we can do? Nothing. Just try and hope. For sure, it was not an optimum day for in terms. I'm sure we had more performance a little bit, but it was for sure enough. So that was the most important. Well, already people from Peugeot who sent me texts that uh, <laughs> they were happy and hope to come back. But um, uh, I don't know. Hopefully they will come back like that. They will push us a little bit more. Oh, sector one, as I told you, I took a lot of yesterday night in a video. I took a lot of mark and say, OK, I should be at this speed and this speed. It's the first time that I was able to look the dash by driving to look my minimum speed in a corner. And um, sector one was just was just great, was just good. Not no stress, no push. And but uh, yeah, sector two straight away was a lot more difficult, a lot, a lot less grip. After you know, I started, I was a little bit on stress inside the car, and I was thinking, okay, <laughs> relax. <laughs> when I get sector three, I say, okay, now it's only two minutes to go. Come on, baby, we go and we finish this, this things. <laughs>